Okay. Hi, Crystal Briley. This is the Kenmore 960. Um, and this is my personal one. Um, notice how the little bolt, the little, sorry, not bolt, the little nut is turning back and forth. It is slightly raising, just slightly raising and lowering the reverse. It's adjusting that reverse just a tiny bit, positive and negative. Um, so it is actually moving it. Um, but it is moving it a very small amount. It is, it is not supposed to be a huge movement. It's going up, the reverse lever is going up and down by maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, and that's what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, um, now mine was actually stuck when I just came to check it for you and actually see the little screw with the little nub screw there or, uh, it, set screw, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, the grub screw or uh, set screw can be unscrewed on the 960. It, there is supposed to be a flat spot on your little um, the little rod that comes through here, and that's what makes sure that this uh, turns at the correct, uh, you know, turns the little rod inside the correct amount. Um, but see, like, see how you can see that going up and down. As I move this <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm clumsy but anyway um, it's not a huge movement but it is definitely remember you see that little that little nut should be turning as you turn your little thing back here but if if you do not like mine was gummed up I had to use a q-tip dip in alcohol rubbing alcohol and I had to clean mine to be able to get it to actually work properly again um, and so I, the, the 1753, um, it looks similar. It's the same thing on the outside, but it's actually got a different setup on the inside on that one. But, uh, it had the screw that goes through the wall, the back wall of it on its, uh, reverse, uh, um, adjustment, uh, lever. It also was gummed up completely and I had to clean it and then, uh, uh, put fresh wing machine oil on the screw that goes through the back wall of that one to make sure that its uh, adjuster is now working properly too. So anyway, um, it does it does move, but it's just barely moving that reverse lever up and down. Let's see, I don't know if I can hold it still enough to help you see that better without me jiggling it. See how it's coming up. And then it goes down just, and it's maybe a quarter of an inch. It might might be less than a quarter of an inch even, but it's just a small adjustment. Um, so anyway, that is what your little lever on the back should be doing. And that little nut right here should be spinning when you turn this knob. If that nut is not spinning when you turn this knob, you need to take the knob off um, by undoing the little grub screw or set screw on the back of it. And then pull the knob off and clean the knob off, but clean off at the where it, where it goes into the machine. Because if it's too gummed up, it can't spin. Okay? Good luck. Bye-bye.